little but the Intel Grand Slam for good measure. It would be up against the Vitality T side. Oh, I'm having flashbacks. Yeah, we've been here before, Chad. And he fifth had a P250 map. in his hands as well, didn't he? It was the first oh, round of the fifth no, map. No, here we no, go. No, no, no. And they charge in. Electronic good for the first. He was kept very quiet on overpass and bit. Ready to put his name in the feed as well. So this was very simple, really, from the French. And hang on, Chad. <laughs> I really am getting flashbacks. What's happening here? The ZHP, the P250. Can we Jesus. calm down? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> you just seen the stars <laughs> aligned again. <laughs> no, I actually, I couldn't handle it. I would have just been quiet throughout the whole thing. I, I just, I wouldn't be able to watch it. Okay, <sighs> all right. Now, V. They've been winning a lot of pistols, Chad. Yeah, they, they have been. Now, in case you don't know what Alex and I are talking about, right now, when you're second mulling and maybe your phone, go back and check out the Zaiwu. I think it was a, a 2v5. 6K, yeah, he killed six yeah, people. Yeah. He uh, defied the laws of Counter-Strike. Uh, check that one out from the uh, IEM Beijing Haidan Grand Final between these two. It was the fifth map. Oh, this looks fun. The double run boost Glock Eco. Woo! It works for... For, 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 for a frag. Well, a frag's not bad because now the AKs are going to come out, out here. So all good. First two rounds under our belt. And you're right. We need something to sink our teeth into. We need a back and forth affair here. We've gone the distance. And give the viewers something to sink their teeth into. Chad, they went for four FAMAS in that one. And up against the full Glock Eco, it now means that coming into round three, Na'Vi's buy just looks so limp. Yeah, I, I look, the, the, the rationale here is if you know or you have an inclination that Vitality without the plant are going to go for an eco, you get yeah. those rifles up early. I know it's not the best. I know it's not M4s for everybody here, but at least it's rifles to contest. And fast towards the middle they go. Shocks quickly spammed on through there. Electronics found a gap in the smoke, and that's a nice opener. That is exactly what Electronic was missing before. Apex, that is some brave stuff. Full commit towards the CT spray. Nothing, though... In the feed, it is two to the good for Na'Vi here to post their third. And those FAMAS, uh, what do I know? Looking very comfortable up against the AK-47. Saiwu, however, on the reload, could be hunted down. Multiple targets in front of him. And now, suddenly, we're in a two-on-two. -two. Perfecto's pushed T-Spawn, so they're actually kind of in between both of them. Oh, dear. If, if Zywu just wants to go late towards B here, because Kyurgen's currently parked in the underpass with the bomb, might be a head-on with Perfecto here, who's having a double back all the way through the B apartment, silently getting further and further Look away from Electronic. Look at what Kyojin's holding, bro. Yeah, but th this is the thing. Electronic's gone up in towards Palace. Perfecto's been left to find whatever information he can, and he doesn't know where they are. They could literally be anywhere right now. So they fully cut noise to the point now where Na'Vi have no idea. Electronic up towards Palace right now could be the complete spoiler, right? If he stays undetected and Zywu doesn't molly this Palace position, he can just deny the plant and should secure the round. But this is Zywu we're talking about. And actually, Electronic's not going to wait around him. Ooh. They think they caught a whiff. They caught a whiff. Zywu beheads him. Problems now. Safe assumption. Perfecto was on B. They got all the time in the world to set themselves up in this after plant. And no real hope for Perfecto. He has got his glasses on, Chad. And he does have a full belt of utility here, which unfortunately means he may just go for the save. Oh, there is saving specs. Yeah. Ah, didn't change him out for the clutching specs. I could have done a good joke, but I don't know if the rest of the world has spec savers. Yeah. You do? Uh, we do. Damn. But then again, you guys are kind of like the cool Brits. So. I thought we were like the budget Brits. But no, you're like the ones, but you get like sun and you, you're kind of a bit more cool. We're yeah. a bit buttoned up and iffy and bigoted. Yeah, it rains all the time for you guys, though, so no, no wonder you're miserable half the time. Yeah. All right, well, that is a really quite a bad round for Na'Vi to lose, all things considered, because that kicked off fantastically well. They get the two opening kills. They're sitting pretty in a three on five. And, and the reason it's so bad, look, when the scoreline reads two to one, you don't think it's bad, but, but just remember what's going through the Na'Vi's players' heads right now, right? This is their Pro League Grand Final. The Intel Grand Slam, they've been in a five-map best of five before against Vitality, and they've lost it on the fifth. Damn, Chad. I mean, yeah, it's not like they're not going to have forgotten all any of that either. No, so stack all those things up. The pressure definitely mounting on them, and we know that Na'Vi historically, right, the org has been one that's had uh, some issues as far as tilt goes. So Yeah, and you want some individual tilt. How about the guy that stole your number one two years running? Simple versus Zywu. Boomich for now contending with Palace. Oh, Boomich screwed by the timing. Can you believe it? Just as he switches away. And that smoke from Simple does keep him relevant. 
Electronic as well pulls himself back into the fray with a frag. Apex worming around this, but that's the... Oh, that's a big oh, miss. That's a big miss. Tucking tail now, but the bomb's down and it's game on. Cycling through his nades. I was thinking about this. Takes a chance. Simple catches him. Making good on his previous shortcomings now. No nades, so it's just going to be a tough fight. Masuta from ramp. Apex, however, is going to have to do it all. And he's already revealed his location. Well, take one with him, but well recovered there from the Na'Vi camp. Okay, and that was scrapping the fight together, right? They just lost that round. They're having to throw some guns across, get the AWP in the hands of Simple, and he gets two kills. Now, let's be honest, everybody. If you've watched a lot of Simple play, we haven't had the Simple that we all know and love tonight. We haven't had the one ripping the server apart. Oh, and doesn't that get right there... It, it truly oh. cannot go worse than that. Yeah. Blumich oh. is going to be mega frustrated with that one there. Great from Simple to continue to worm around that smoke after that miss, but... All in all, here we go. Three to one. Guns back out for Vitality. The plants made this one possible. Apex's frustration is going to be one to keep tab, uh, tabs on two. But yeah, as you were discussing regarding Simple, he hasn't needed to, you know, in, the, in their victories. It's been a team effort for sure. But at this stage in the game, when it is do or die, melee or no, Kill a bonus for the boys. Or nothing. Or literally nothing. Not literally nothing, yeah. <laughs> I think it's like 80 grand or something 80k or 1.2 mil. Uh, up for debate in Mirage here. It is kind of crazy. And they will, admittedly, though it does not necessarily have implications tonight, they do have two or more opportunities before it times out, sure. right? So this wouldn't be their last chance. I am um, winter. But either way, legs into Kyojin. Yeah, well, they live on. Might want to throw his rifle over to Shox if he can find him, who currently is detached from the pack. They're looking to take a bit of mid control, or at least flirt with it. Here comes a bit of solo mission, and he does eliminate Misuta. Can't do much with that one. Look at that smoke. It doesn't really cover them, but Kyojin will catch him all the same. Another one, simple. Slips by the wayside. Zai was solo and with the bomb committed. This is a weird one for Vitality. This no way in. Only Apex up against the world. Oh. And there it is, falling apart, falling flat. Okay, four to one now. And some shots just go on either side here for Simple, but still will convert. Fight up there. Whatever he's saying, let's see if it manifests in some success here because Apex is going for the classic. You guys go B, uh, you guys go A and I'll go B and plant, right? We all know that one. We've seen it before. That requires his teammates to get some traction on this A site. So everybody with the meat cleaver of a deagle in their hands. Zywoo in Palace, three currently residing over towards the A ramp. And before you really have a look in right now, if you're Vitality, you want to wait for these smokes to subside. So waiting out the early protocol utility of Na'Vi. And now they're starting to have a look. All three proceeding up the ramp. Boomich is the man to find over towards Ticket. Well, he's been spotted out and the presence on A has been noted. Boomich calls for assistance. Simple electronic fly to their aid. Still plenty of time for this one. Bits rotated to the short side push oh, up. And boost. The sandwich boost will give them a little bit of a slip here. Oh, 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 simples down. That's exactly what the doctor ordered. Still holding fast on the B side. That bomb plant still looking unlikely. More frags found. Shocks down, but they didn't see the bomb. And he's just going for it. Perfecto. His patience is rewarded. <laughs> <laughs> Naughty. Oh. Give him a moment that is stewing his own juices. Yeah. So Are you going to hold that? Or? Uh, you want to fight me? What do you, you want to go for here, mate? All right. Well, there you have it. Five to one and a great start for Na'Vi. Now, uh, I'll be that guy. Someone has to be. When there's been great starts from a team, they've won the map. I don't want it to go down like this. Nobody does. Everybody at home, sitting here, tuning in. Simple versus Sai. Lots of excitement, lots of clutches, really close games, back and forth affairs. None of that. Yeah, maybe we should give Harry and Hugo a call. Get him on the phone. Get him on the get phone. all the exciting games. <laughs> Good Lord. As always, it's the semi-finals that have delivered some high-octane moments, but we're here in our fifth. Oh, an electronic looking a little lost there, charging up mid-apex. Greets him with a spray and util dump here. They've got a bit of a congregation of Frenchmen on that. Tetris flashed off, advancing regardless. Do need to see a plant soon because the rotates on its way and Zoe was already been caught. That's big from Boomage. The bullets through the smoke don't find him. So now we've got a four on four for the retake. Great flash. No one takes the fight. 
Setup is there. A couple more flashes where that came from. And Vitz the first from Na'Vi to advance. Well controlled. Kyojin posts another. High impact. That's the newest addition. Oh. He adjusts on the jump. Boom, it's down. Safe? Yeah, you have to. You've got an awful one simple. He's already charging away from the site. Well, this will be at least some evidence. The Vitality can hang with the big boys here. Now we're cooking. They've just gone towards A. They get gifted a free kill, opening top mid. Electronic giving up another opening death. He had his fair share of those on overpass. And they just stick to their guns. They get on in. And Kyojin, right? Let's see. Imagine if he comes alive in this fifth map of Mirage here and just lights him up. That overpass would have done wonders for his confidence. So we're getting caught off guard there. In the end, it doesn't matter. And Fair committing, play. Yeah, committing to the spray as well, right? He has to be trapped. He's either going to run out wide off your spray or he's just going to stand there and take the bullets. That one is beautiful. And now we do have the buyback in from Na'Vi here. Those saves. It has Facilla good and kits in play. And away we go again. Back towards this A bomb site. Boomich, they're going to come knocking on your door, my but friend. There's no smoke. There's no mirrors. This is just the brute force five man throw nades and commit. This is retro. Walking on in. Smokes are still blooming. Boomich will be jumping for info and confirms his action on the site. The smoke did a, at least segregate and delay that plant. Good spray, tacking him up, but they're into the site. They're still floating around Tetris. No real ground covered by Vitality. What's he meant to do here? He's looking for an angle, anything to get confirmation that the squad is here. And wow, Masuts has actually tagged him up there, I think. Boomich is down. Saiwu saves his teammate from a cool fate, and there goes Simple. Suddenly, Vitality's A hits looking potent. The frags just delivered to them one by one, single file. Bomb to be planted. Perfecto just looking to catch a couple on this push for CT control. And he could catch more than they bargained for here. He picked up an orb, so Apex steadies his aim and calms us all down for a Vitality third. Wow, all right, that was a full investment. Navi drop guns to make that happen. They saved to make that round happen, and it's just gone in the blink of an eye. Right, Boomich is getting bullied there. He has two choices. He can either sit, retake the entire time, or he can go and actually try and find some traction into the site. And he went for the option of traction, and he just got removed. Bullets coming through, damage done, nowhere to hide. And maybe nowhere to hide for Electronic now. Bomb, a long way gone here. Shox has come up through the underpass, and it looks like he's done pressing the issue here. So this will be Vitality with their third, and now we're back into it. Lost bonus, 1,900 into the next round of play. Any Na'Vi. They could go for another buy if they would like. Perfecto and Simple have eno enough right now. Electronic could drop a Famous across, and Boomich could buy himself here if they want to purchase. But at the moment, think about what these A hits have done. It will force Na'Vi to play either a heavy A setup, right? Having more players close towards A ramp or Palace. Something different needs to come on through. Simple's been given the AWP. Okay, well, we've seen this before. Perfecto was the only one who could make that happen. It's just a bit of a crippled buy with the saved AK and the AWP right now. And Simple on Nuke found multiple kills when he was gifted the AWP like this. So they need him to step up. There's a lot of faith in his hands here. Yeah, he's just, he's just averted his gaze to smoke off that palace, which is the three-man assault. And on the re-peak, some territory's been lost. Shox is already tucked into the ladder room early. Lovely amount of map control. Oh, the vent's already broken. Even better. He can slink if he desired all the way through. Simple aware of the gap, has to address it. But this is ideal for Apex, right? He can call the pincer when he sees fit. Boomich is just getting bullied here, though, isn't he? They are really isolating him. Again, he's all alone. Simple smoked off. It's literally just Boomich and Simple turns. Oh, Vitality, they're here. Mirage, game on. And that saved AWP or recovered, bought AWP, will have to be recovered. There we go. Nearly got the sentence out. Shox knows it's gone right now. They should try and hunt, try and take this up away, right? I feel like Na'Vi have screwed themselves with this type of a purchase. If they don't hold on to the AWP and the AK of Electronic, <gasps> oh, so much damage being done. Perfecto. He's got a chance for the AK, but now it all falls to Electronic to save this AWP. And there's still a play about 20 seconds left. Good luck, have fun. And as he peeks out, looking to escape, he will do so. A fake smoke trying to... Oh, now they have to use it. Apex is on the site, Zywu in apps, there's no way. Simple wants it, Na'Vi wants it, Electronics hunted, still hitting shots, but in the last seconds it's fallen. Zywu gets himself a lovely upgrade, not for Simple today, changes his mind. I guess they've got plenty of cash should he desire. Oh dear. 
Wow. Okay, well, that's quite the return to form, a resurgence from Vitality here. Yeah, and you really have to start worrying about Na'Vi now, especially if they buy into this next round of play. And I can confirm that they are. Bitch just bought in Boomage to follow Electronic doing the same. Perfecto bought that all for simple, and he gets nothing out of it. That means Perfecto now has to just wield this Deagle, and the pressure for Na'Vi, it's getting to him. There's no doubt about that. If Na'Vi lose this one, oh, all right, if. Don't worry about that conversation, Bit. Apex down through the smoke. They're coming B. Perfecto only with his deagle, remember? Yeah, Simple's got the M4. Shots is vulnerable, trying to delay with jumps. Perfecto's done so much. That deagle is all he needs, Chad. Simple and Perfecto combined to repel the B take Zaiwu up against five. And he's in the smoke. It's stared at by Bit. Audio cues to build a picture. Zaiwu, stone face killer. With nothing to report. <laughs> Just in no man's land right there, giving it his best crack, but call that six now. And okay, but there's plenty of money for a Vitality buy, but that was sketch for Na'Vi, right? That purchase, they're lucky to get upgrades out of this. And well, they're lucky to find this one too. Like, what does he see? Absolutely nothing. Perfecto doing a great job here. You know, there's so much, I, I can't tell you how much pressure is on Perfecto in that situation. He just has a deagle. Yeah, he's and he's anchoring B. He's the one that gets the info as well. He's making the call and the magic happen with the double. So really big stuff out of Perfecto. A support player, but supporting with frags as well. Nine kills. They're testing Boomage again. Look at this. They're going back towards A and through Palace one more time. Zywe with a chance on the AWP there. Yeah, there's an exception to the rule now. And that is simple. No longer is Boomich isolated. No longer is Simple rotating in and timing. It's perfect for the first. They've isolated him. They've unloaded their mags. Shots has bullets. Baited in. And now the trades favor the French. Apex blind to Electronic. Still up to kick a fuss. And they're canceling this. They're returning. There's a lot of unknowns about that mid push and the info there. But they will pull the plug. Game on. All right, plenty of time for this as well. So that entire skirmish has gone down and we still have over a minute remaining on the clock. Heaps of utility for Vitality and they can just press pause. 5v5, how about we play 3v3? So from spawn, all of them grouping on up and starting to head over towards this B bomb site where Bit and that AK-47 currently reside. He's left on an absolute island here, Bit. The rotation from Electronic and Perfecto is miles away. Oh my God, yeah, that's like full full painting a ball with a face on it and talking to it, Island. He has a smoke here a bit. If he dropped it, you know, he could he, he buy himself a bit of a buffer, but I, I don't feel the timing's going to be there. He's just going to hide bench and hope, just hope he's able to get this timing right. Well, cavalry will be summoned a bit. Molotov out. They've done their due diligence. I think one sound cue is enough for them to know there's one on site to contend with, and he will drop util to confirm that. Great util, but still that bomb plant. They need to get it down. 10 seconds, Bit finally. Oh! Found. He's hold his nerve. They need to plant. Bit still exists. Kyojin flustered. He has to plant now. And that's the denial. Go on, Bit. That's magic. Only him on the site, and he takes them all down with him. Oh, take a big breath. That got so bloody sketchy there. The Molotovs from Vitality were absolutely Everywhere perfect. he went, there was flames. They had him completely dead to rights with those flames, and he still manages to survive, even through the flash. Shocks oh. unable to convert this kill. Check this out. Completely blind. Shocks runs past him, unable to get the kill, and then Bit still manages to get away with all of it. Oh, man. Like, he is truly playing like someone that's been in a tier one scene for oh. so many years, and Electronic has, and he demonstrates it with a quick control of four. Vitality came to his mid, and he has sent them packing, looking like an eighth. Oh, Electronic has been great, hasn't he? Right, obviously on the last map, he dropped Swish. off on overpass, but you think about the maps he's been present for and the impact we've been seeing out of this guy. Give him the ace, give him that final kill. Apex just below him now, and there it is. Electronic, he takes them all. Give him the MVP. We'll have to look at the stats. The dude's looking insane. <sighs> Eight to four. This has happened very, very quickly now. Vitality, they need a response, and they need it immediately. This is great. The first two showing you just that aim, just tapping away, and then the spray, long range, mowing them down. I know they're on eco, right? I know a lot of you out there making the eco, eco curva hiss, but yeah. still, like, someone's going to make those kills. And that's at range, right? Electronic, demonstrating his skill right there. Yeah, anything you can do, Apex, I can do a whole lot better. Okay, another change up. Mix up for the, the mid defense. And this time, I was the one looking for a way in. Just as Electronic slips out, 
He knows he's on a timer for the underpass, and he's timed his nade to perfection. Just as Apex arrived, so did the nade, a bit shy of the mark, but... Leaves one all the same. See, from this conditioning of going AA all the time, Simple is so scared of the A bomb site. He's having to be over and cheating over to help Boomage a little bit more. Mid's more susceptible here, so working on some control. Mid's forward. Oh, okay, bringing some aggression to the plate, but this time Apex comfortable. Both of them there, Simple aware. They've left the bomb so far back, so this is all just to find and seize an early advantage. The retake util gets them sketched out, but no one takes a glance. But these are the kind of advantages we, we've seen Vitality very rarely let slip. Apex has a tendency to just use this pack rolly mentality, a little shocksy lurk for good measure. As long as they have enough time, time has previously come back to bite them on a few of these advantage rounds, and then all it takes is another one from Electronic. Boomich in tow, simple there. This A site is going to be a tough come. cookie to crack. And already Boomich with the first. Masuta at least neutralizing the electronic threat and the headshots come easy. 20 seconds. They spotted out Simple. They know this one in Palace, but the bomb goes down and no reason to give them the fight. A back and forth affair, Chad. Simple. He's gone. He's lost the AWP. Zywa cut off the rotation and he's hunting for the last man. And Ofefecto was short. Zywa with the pressure. He gets the kill. And that is five now. And oh, Na'Vi. They have enough here to go for another buy, but yeah, we do have that back and forth nature and vitality when they strike, that is great, right? Every little element of that is good. They were already thinking about what if for the save. Safety net of shots coming out here. Look at this, just gonna absolutely blindside Boomich. There's no way for Simple to cover him there. And this is great from Zywa. Look, this is his sixth and his seventh kill, but huge kills to find. Yeah, forces all of that to be re-bought into our 14th. So should Na'Vi falter? Could be pretty etch a sketched for them to convert a nine. Another stalled out approach here from Vitality. You can just see how passive they are. Top mid, Apex and Zywa over towards A again. So they've been getting their way at this A bomb site. Vitality are getting in without too many dramas whatsoever. Bits over here now. Boomich jump peeking again. Simple and Electronic have a very aggressive mid stance right now. So they have all the info they could require. Simple was just watching underpass. And here they go. Yeah, Ram Flash calls and summons Simple to the A site. Electronic responsible for middle, and he's spotted out at least one. Simple returns to back his teammate up, and already catching the aggressing in-game leader. Bomb on its way to A. Three here. Bit already been brilliant. And he's got multiple targets, both just deleted in a blink of an eye. Now shocks tucked in and known. 50 seconds, he doesn't have to rush this, and as much as he can, he'll tuck in. He repositions and lets Zywe work his magic a little. He's got a load of util, but Zywe gonna try and piece this one together as best he can. Silently confirms, nothing actively sure. Oh, and he's found one, but the double peek him right back. Shox has some info off the back of that. He knows there's two here. Suspects Electronics B. 20 seconds. He has been the difference maker in many of these maps here in the best of five. Shocks fakes it out, strafes into the simple bullet and call it nine. Chad Narvi looking for a solid defensive half here, especially if they post a tenth. They could just be within that six round barrier to collect the into the final round of play for the T side of Vitality. Can they leave one final mark? Narvi set up for success. The flash is brilliant. Electronic for his 19th. They're still trying to go A. And Simple once again ready to play. Three here. Boomich confirms there's more presence. I don't even, that's I had the bomb, so. It's a lot of information. Bit sets himself up to contribute from short. Boomich is alone again. How alone is he though? On the site, sure. Kyojin spotted out. He's keeping all their attention on default. Flashed in, it's perfect, perfecto. Sets his defender up for a frag. Now only two. And the mollies are there. The frags are too. Na'Vi going to make it 10. Zywu can't have this series of just how much is at stake. The additional pressure on the shoulders of Na'Vi. And let's see if they can handle it into our last half of the evening. 
It's an eight play. All of them here. Apex spots out a couple. They're looking a little quiet in the feed, and they are taking that jungle control. Zaiwu to contest it. Masuta to try and back him up, and he's a bit shy of the mark. So's the Wu. And that just leaves three. Bomb already ticking. Apex has clawed something back. Need a whole lot more than that. There's two jungle side, and Electronic's not slowing down. Oh! Shots is happening. He knows where they are. He can pull this back for Vitality. Fakes it out. Knows where they are. Looking for the first head. Electronics are not going to let this one go. Refuses to quit. Refuses to surrender. And Na'Vi now with a converted pistol. They've got the red carpet rolled out, Chad. The gold bars. They're out. They're being polished as we speak. Oh, dear. What an absolute game this has been from Electronic, right? 22 kills for him now. Shocks making the best of a bad situation here. Two quick taps to the heads right there. But this is Electronic's 22nd kill. His second in the round. And they're getting closer and closer now in that Na'Vi camp, but they need to get past this force buy of Team Vitality next. Apex into the scout, the Whoa. Deagles for the rest. It's just in their face, they can almost taste it. Force buy from Vitality next step for Na'Vi. And these are often sometimes the most chaotic and difficult to convert convincingly. Yeah, they got three smokes to work with here on the Vitality side. So this is all just about stalling them out and hoping that these Deagles can tag away. Blumich still doing the window smoke the hard way. That one will be landing on in and giving Bit an opportunity to make his move. Smoke up towards Connector nice and deep. And mid control being guarded now. Kyojin spotted. And under that pressure, we'll have to drop out his smoke. So mission accomplished for both sides here. They know the scout of Apex is over towards A. Those warning pot shots are being heard time and time again. Just hoping for a tag through the board onto Bit, but he's not pushed up yet. And Boomich has actually started to float very passively back in towards T's spawn with that bomb. Now he needs to be careful. There is nobody on the other side of this yet, but if he goes walkabout, we'll need a friend or two. He's called the evacuate to his team, who are loudly running on back through spawn now, and it does look like they want to pivot towards this B bomb site. It would leave. Only two to receive them here. They've moved quickly enough. Smoke locks out Zaiwu, who won't be able to contain that short presence. He has to push that smoke. He does, and he hasn't. Just now he strikes. Perfect timing. Can't seem to tame the final bullets, and it will just be the one head. Masuta's D good for one as well. And that Apex Scout would have to do something. He chops his Deagle. Simple to save Na'Vi's second round conversion. He's pushing into shocks. The pre fight's there. Playing the game. There's no, no time. time. Is there? Three and a half. It might. Oh! Oi, oi, oi. Okay, well, it's one way to win it. Kyojin technically pulls home the sixth, but it's the chaos on that B site, and they guess just running the clock down a little too shy of the mark. Oh dear, oh dear. That smoke at short, which came in just before the 30 second mark, is what really started to spiral this into chaos, right? Because Na'Vi couldn't go up at their own pace. They had to wait for that smoke to fade, and you can see just how close it was to Simple getting that bomb down in time. If it still reads four in any capacity, oh. you've got it. Okay, well, it's the buy back in. They force board around this saved AK and simple. He's got something to prove straight Ooh. through middle. Apex drops. And the number advantage is in their favor, but Zaiwu attempting to claw that back has contact with Perfecto. They're going quick, dude. Look at this. Three up the connector. They don't give a damn. And Kyojin spots it out. At the very least, he spotted it out. Never mind that. He's eliminated the simple AK. Trying to survive as best he can. The free fire's good. It doesn't quite finish off electronic, but Shocks perhaps can. So much time now. The bomb's on its way, but so is the entire CT squad. Multiple angles to be cleared. Spotted out. That flash could do a lot. They're all there. No one to profit from it. Zyla with one. The frags are all over the place. Perfecto's in the clutch. Up against Shocks. Both have been fantastic. Perfecto known for his clutching ability, and there's 60 seconds for them to dance around these boxes. A Tech 9 up against the M4, and it will be Shoxy that makes it 7. So two from the Vitality camp to humble the Na'Vi boys. Oh, dear. It puts them back down into Squalor. Nothing more than a pack of hubba bubba, a water pistol, and some pocket lint. Well, we might be getting the game we wanted after all here, because this completely changes things now. Right, the fact that they've not been able to convert on the force by back, the force by wars are over. Vitality have won this. They've now put themselves seven rounds to the good. They just need this conversion against the eco here to secure the eighth, and then we're talking. Oh, what a, what a perfecto left in that situation with the Tech-9. Oh, what's yeah. he meant to do? 
Shox is brave enough to keep fighting. Yeah, I, I swear that Shox and Perfecto have the most, or two of the most, right, in yeah. terms of 1vx situations in this tournament so far. Yeah, I, I don't know what it's at now with the series being live, but Perfecto was at the top, and I know Shox was in, I, I'm he was pretty in the sure he was in the top five, so yeah. just having those two lock and horns. So good to see Shox in form. Look at Apex here, though, right? He's been on the receiving end of some opening deaths, and he doesn't even care about it. He's just gone aggressive again. Bomb. He even just called to his team what the buy is because he saw only one pistol on the floor, right? He knows just how light this buy is. That's the bomb. That's a second kill onto Simple, and this one falls apart. Great play from Apex here, getting away with his aggressive maneuver. Now they just have to find the last two. The nade well, won't be the death of Fear. And Apex's MP9 sings. There you have three for him. I can't believe he's gone through spawn. He's looked at the guns and he's told his team. Like he's, You can see how vocal he's being yeah. while looking at the pistols, right? So it's just the smallest of details here. But here we go. The AKs are back out and we've got a game on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. We didn't get a single close map. Take a look. Top right. Even some of those score lines are deceiving. Dust 2 in particular. Nuke certainly looked like it was Na'Vi's turf through and through. But now here in the fifth, and it does look like the gap is going to be closed to the point where we've got a competitive one. Na'Vi, five rounds, that's it. Five rounds away from the Intel Grand Slam and joining legendary names such as Stralis and Team Liquid. Never mind lifting the ESL Pro League Season 14 trophy. That, to them, perhaps even considered a bonus. Lord, speaking of bonus, Apex is being very aggressive with his MP9. It's not the position you want to be in to take a top mid fight, but they're hoping to be able to collapse down on Na'Vi if they test the water here. An aggressive mid flash, and nobody following through on it, right? But that's just to keep them in position. Na'Vi might hang around a little bit longer now, and we know that the time is traditionally their worst enemy. Such a stark contrast. I mean, Na'Vi just hit an A repeatedly. Now it's going to be the all-in B. Boomich is holding spawn. Going to try and fake out something. There's the window smoke from that T-spawn spot, and Masuta, aware, and he hears it, gonna be shouting and screaming, boys, it sounds like B, evades the flash, great shot, takes two, Masuta steps up when his team need him most, and the rest are coming, and by rest, I mean Zaiwu, coming in from behind to finish the job, only simple, up against the world, up against the Wu, that's nine for Vitality, and it was pretty damn clean. They leave with three AK-47s. That's crazy. That was like a bonus round for Vitality, yeah, right? Yeah, you see how quick Masuda deleted him? I yeah. thought he was on burst fire or something. Just two to the dome. That was mental. Masuda did so much there. That, like, is huge. Th to be able to withstand the BXQ, and he was out of position as well. He was playing from short. He only just repositioned here. This was massive. Like, oh, this doesn't is, even touch the floor. This is impact right here from Masuda. He stalled this one out. The cavalry's here. You know, he only goes down to simple there. So they've already dealt with this. It was already done. They're getting blanked right here, Na'Vi. Four rounds on the trot right now for Vitamin. But let's see, can they make anything of this now, Na'Vi? They're getting one step closer with every round. They're getting one step further away when Vitality posts theirs. This is for double digits. This is for 10 right now. And Boomich on a solo mission, quickly down towards Connector, found by Apex. The gap in the smoke is great. And now it's just going to be a flat play out A ramp. Yojin, another one, and of course, he's found simple. His 10th death handed to him by the Belgian bit with something. The only Deagle in play, and it's not much more to be seen. A nice little USP finish, and everyone delivering here. Take a look at the kill spread. I think it's, what, four that make it five that separates top from bottom? Zaiwu's just pulled ahead a bit more with his pair. That's not even the scary thing. Think about these Famuses. It's not like they're rebuying them. They've been carrying these through. These Famuses have now existed to the point where you have Apex on 10 grand, you got 7.3 on Shock, Zywe with residual cash of about 4K, Kyojin with 6.3, Masuda with 3.4. There's money for Vitality. Na'Vi are not in a position to break them here financially just yet. They need to get a gun round going. They need to get something going on this T-half. Just the pistol round to boast so far and aggression coming their way. You wouldn't. Oh, Simple takes the shot straight into the Zywe peak. Here's the rebuttal though. Bit. He's so ready and he's ready for you both. That's one way to find a round. Aggressive maneuver from Vitality and it is completely quashed. Now this is where we're about to see the nerve of Na'Vi. We know that the pressure is here. Now this is a five on two situation. Every day of the week, Na'Vi should be converting this, but let's see. Are they just gonna sit and wait? Are they gonna fumble at the final moments here with some miscommunication and maybe let the clock get the better of them? Stalled out now. Boomich working on mid control bit. Just clearing out towards the B apartments here. Just keeping Masuda's feet planted and he will succeed in doing exactly that. Shocks slinking on back with the timing towards connector here. 
B is in. Oh, and that information might serve them towards A. And Shox is hiding in plain sight. If Boomich wasn't to wait out that smoke, uh, he could be hunted down. They are heading into the site. A re-smoke will leave Shox. One thing, Masuta can't handle Boomich, but that's the bomb denial. Shox set up for the first, but nothing more. And Na'Vi will convert that one. Oh, if we're talking about a crucial head-to-head -to, -head to kick this round off, it was simple Orping Zai, wherever there it was, connector, right? So that one is a big way, like a huge scout for Simple to take, right? We big up this head-to-head, -head, and it's not necessarily in the fact that they're dueling against one another, it's what they can do to the rest of the server. So Simple neutralizing him early, this is the fight, is huge. The, the follow-up, though, from Bit, right? For him to stand and get the first, great, but the second, that almost secures it right there. So huge stuff, 12 now to the 10, and remember, Vitality had another buy going. Plenty of money for this Zaiwu. Not deterred from fighting in middle, but Simple, he's not there this time round, up towards the B apartments. Keeping such a cool head on his shoulders is bit. Really just not feeling the pressure. How can a rookie not only win his first ever land, but then be thrust into a best of five grand final for an extra 1.2 million and be cool about it? Be top of the scoreboard about it. You're mad. And so's he. Let's go. Mm. Bombs loose on the A side of the map. Bit continues to poke and prod up that underpass. I think the biggest problem right now for Na'Vi is looking like they're set for an A split, right? Bit going to come through late. Maybe Boomich will chip in with him, but this double under balcony setup now has been rumbled. So they've dropped one smoke. Shox and Kyojin will both stand. A minute on the clock now and continuing their onslaught towards this site. More utility, more backup coming on over to help them, and Zaiwu is still in mid. Yeah, he's got two to contend with himself. He's actually Molotov down to 50 there and still hits his shot. Bit unable to trade, and the bomb's coming A. Three here, this double man, dark play. And what was that? Apex strafes out wide, gets some info, knows Still the bomb's there. The he did tag up simple. 10 HP on the superstar. It's gonna come down to the rest of them. Bit is the rest of them. Simple and Bit, quite the clutching partnership. They did wonders before, but Shots goes unchecked, baited in perfectly. And that leads to an 11th. Vitality, they double up and Shots baits to perfectly secure the round. You can see back turned of simple is an indicator of just how booked they got. Yeah, now off that big play, right? They, they, this one they had set. This was the, the plan for Vitality out the gate. You saw just how long this setup under balcony was lying in wait to do exactly this. So Kyojin's done his role perfectly here and shocks even more so. We get back underway. Na'Vi, they have enough to purchase again, but it's starting to get light on now. Simple's orbs out. There's Galil's in play. The util not looking great. And this is to tie things up here for the French Vitality. One round away from going 12-12. This has gone the distance. 10-5 half as well. Na'Vi with a solid CT hall of their own. Completely equalized if Vitality can find it here. They need to get into some sites, Na'Vi. They need to start getting the bomb down, right? We're not going to see them stay threatening as far as the economy is concerned if they don't. Their loss bonus is maxed out, right? So a plant will mean another buy. But they need to get that bomb down. Electronic has been a real force to be reckoned with on Mirage. It might be him, the most likely candidate to find some impact. If it's not simple, he's actually going to be setting his teammate up across mid. The flash was timed to get him across safely. And we will once again see that about 60 second mark window smoke. Bit could find Shoxy here. And oh. Oh, I don't know if, yeah, Shox isn't working with any info there either. Don't know where Kyojin's health just went. Apex. Careful now. 40 seconds and you still have full control. They're coming through for a pop through the connector smoke. There's only Apex catching bit jumping. Now that's something. Four on five. Kyojin's looking the wrong way. They're in. And it should be a bomb plant. Only really Zaiwu to contest this. And he's pulled the plug. Gets out. Clock extended by Na'Vi. They needed a plant, Chad. Well, they've got it. They also need four rounds. And this looks like one of them. There's smokes for this retake. Molly's as well. Oh, I like the CT position. Simple's been scouted out. Still hits his shots. Head on a swivel. Leads to his demise. Shocks another. Perfecto goes unnoticed. Unchecked for now. Masuta with him. And backs are turned. Masuta doesn't react. Doesn't react at all. Still takes one with him. And Zaiwu last to fall. 13 secured. And now just three rounds separating Na'Vi from our third Intel Grand Slam. Okay, well... That one right there was a gritty round, right? Vitality actually had a lot of utility to go for this retake here, but just completely outpositioned. And I guess that HP for Kyojin went down against a duel with the Electronic a little bit earlier in the piece. 
This one right here, Simple puts his body on the line. He gives himself up there, but Perfecto in the sleeper position almost secures this. You'll see that follow up onto Masuda there, and then Simple as you like. Zaiwu, too many targets, not enough time. And that right there is a real sticky situation for Vitality. To He's been equipped with the biggest gun in the game, and his team has asked him to secure a 12th. Charging up mid, head completely looking the wrong way initially, confirms Boomic is out. Na'Vi posturing early with the bomb B side. Okay, looks like a bit of a gamble call is being made. I don't know if I'm reacting too early, but it looks like Kyojin at least being putting himself in touching distance of the B site should he be required. Apex is still hanging out on A side. They don't have any info. Previously, it was a connector pop. Now it's an apps. And only really shocks is going to be here. M4 in hand. Here it comes. Na'Vi in hot pursuit. The flashes are good. Shot stays silent and immediately eliminates Perfecto. Need the trade. That will slow him down. From behind, the trade is there. Apex saves their hide. And now on the bench, another head rolls. Vitality are going to close the gap. Simple with the bomb in 60 seconds. To try and secure it, Apex is going to lock the door behind him. He hears him. And he knows that this is going to be a heartbreaker. We'll upgrade, I, sh I would assume. And we're cooking with gas for a full 30 rounds of play. They don't want the double AWP right there, so uh, keeping that one out of his hands. Zawi's got his AWP. They got rifles on the rest of them, and then this conversation goes back the other way, right? Na'Vi now in a position where Vitality can catch back up and tie the scoreline. Now that right there, there's two BXQs that Na'Vi have rocked. One, Masuda rumbled. The other, Shox has rumbled. They haven't had any issues dealing with that, bay, that BXQ at all. They've just absolutely owned it. And they've gone in. All right, Na'Vi, you've gone in. Holy sh... You've got the lost bonus on your side. It makes sense if you can get the plant here. It makes sense if Simple can show us something right now with this AK. There's pistols around it. Can't go down with a whimper with an investment like this. They're trying again. It's Shox and Masua. Can they really be three for three on the app's defense? Looking good for the first. Shox neutralized. Boomich up short. That's good it. They're for in. it. And they completely have the sight. Books another and Simple provides just like that. Lightning does not strike Bryce. You will not defend this all in B. Oh, they have to save as well. You know, Vitality, they don't have the loss bonus working in their favor, right? They're fighting against that loss bonus time and time again. So holding on to these guns means everything for Na'Vi to have the balls to do that, right? You imagine, you go back, you watch the demo, Na'Vi lose the game. They tried three B executes that were absolutely blanked by, by Vitality every single time. Well, they finally crack in. And with the worst buy of the lot, that's 14. How did it come toppling down? Was Boomich just running up short tech nine? Is that where I heard his gun coming from? I think he went out of a. Uh, he came out of apps out as well. Of apps as well. I, I, okay, I, he just must have strafed and immediately got under their skin. It's just that, that normally what's happened is when they've jumped out apartments, it's either Masuda or Shox who's gotten that first kill. Yeah. This time round, I think it was quite quickly traded. So we'll, oh, it was up short. There you go. Quickly straight up through the back lines there. So that's the difference. The fact that he was there. So when the attention was turned, Boomich was in the right place. That's a difference maker and Vitality. You're back in that same position where you're going, all right, well, I guess we're buying, right? We're going to scrap together what we have again. The Famuses look good for Masuda in a couple of these occasions. Shocks into a Deagle this time to buy. Not great, but they've already been able to withstand. Do you know the worst? Like, the person I envy the least out of the people in the server here is actually Blade. You know, he's got to watch. He can't have any control over this. And already, simple, progressing into the A site, he's up and alone. Ahead of the pack, and look what it's led to. Kyojin completely blanked, did not expect that. He's never had that in the previous rounds. Filling the void is Apex. And he's taken down Simple, Good immediately trade. traded. Electronic springs to action. Zaiwu knows where one of the four is. Bit super far ahead of the pack here, going looking. Masuta cannot afford to be Caught out here, and I think he might be. Bits looking the wrong way. Oh, he cleared. Okay, now Masuta's got a shot. 3v3. They know they're coming. Shots they're is here too. They're rushing as fast as they can. Masuta, can you pass the test? The answer's no. Boomich denies. Bomb. Tagged. Shocks. Surviving as best he can. Oh, the headshot. Boomich is gone, and Perfecto's next. Zai was taking him, and now a one-on-one -on -one for all the marbles. It's going to be orb. two. Oh. Zai will collect. Vitality, say play on. This is starting to deliver, Chad, in ways I wasn't expecting. Look at their funds, though. Oh. Sure, you've won, but you've still not got anything far, anything close to an ideal buy. 
All right, well, Bit been... doesn't check, bro. That's the first time I've seen Bit look human. Yeah, just not expecting Masuda to still be there that late in the round, right? Ah, oh, can't believe it. And they're able to get that kill. They're able to make it interesting, but shocks. Just the sleeper able to dance around the pole, make it interesting. Zaiwu comes into play, and here it is, the 13th now for Vitality. Oh, my lord. It's just this back and... So much at stake. Bit of a mix up here from the CTs. Now it's a question of time. Bit and saw that. Question of bit. Working with some info. They don't necessarily immediately accelerate, but you can see Simple already. Knife out T spawn. Wants to get back with the pack. Maybe he didn't see that. He didn't even acknowledge it. He didn't even look back up. I thought he may have caught it on that jump down, but not to be the case. And they are really postured for A. Vitality, no. Right? Shocks is already window. Vitality have. Oh, no, he's backing off. Shox is actually heading towards B. They're just going to play the standard 3-2 split. Kyojin's forward here. This is a huge push. Kyojin, you could catch him off guard. He's flashed in. Kyojin, no, he's gone down. Gets nothing for it. The flash, it was improvised. It was inspired, but leaves with an opener for Na'Vi. This could be 15. Apex trying to do it all. Presence to suppress the Palace players. That will slow him down. It's Bit that stands his ground. One HP, but he's still kicking. Zywus missed his first. How many more chances will he get? The T's have the sight. They have the plant. 40 seconds thrust onto the clock. And the CTs. Oh, no. They scarper. They're saving at this point. Remember, there's no loss bonus for Vitality. Every single time they've bounced back, right? Every single time sure. they lost a round. They won one back. They didn't let the loss bonus build. It wasn't possible to keep the game this tight. And they have no option but to save yet again. This could be everything if Perfecto does activate to find a couple. Oh, the thing is, Na'Vi's money's not there either. Do they want to throw bodies at this? Right, obviously. They can throw a couple, but there's Perfecto's the only man close to even contest this right here. They're going to let Vitality get away with all these guns. I mean, that's a dream. The Lakes will get to defend their honor with a viable set of weaponry. Oh, dear. Okay. Now, this is where I also just want to get in the head of an in-game leader. Like, you know you've got one call separating you from everything, from a pro league, from an Intel Grand Slam. Do you just have, do you have the cojones to go for in the chat? And so the countdown begins. One minute 48. And the first shot's fired off. Saiwu reveals the orb and takes a pot shot. Boomage out top mid. Standard start for Na'Vi. The bomb's already over towards A on simple here. They've got Bit doing the same again. Just through the underpass. Defaulting like it's just another day at the office. Saiwu's B. Yeah, and that means he's not going to be involved in a lot of the action here unless the call comes in from Boomich to pivot back towards the second letter of the alphabet here, but he's corralling the troops elsewhere. Boomich setting up this mid smoke. Lobs that one out. Bit a little bit more delayed on his underpass crawl this time round. And it's on Kyojin, Alex. They've left him on the A site oh on his God. absolute lonesome. The only player that can assist is Apex. It's just on Kyojin here if they continue towards A. The smokes confirm his suspicions. Kyojin readies himself for war. Left alone, this slow crawl of Na'Vi. The pressure present for both. The shots caught out, still adjusts. Perfecto will not be present in middle. And now forced to watch as Na'Vi have a go for V5. Masuta makes it three. Vitality wanted to extend play and deny. Within touching distance, Boomich has something to say about it. Apex goes unchecked, it's everything. A smoke to try draw fire. Masuta careful now. T side orb in play. Great nade to soften him up. Boomich is slipping through though. And Masuta unprepared for it. Nearly caught another. A low HP shocks. Backs are turned. One for one. It could not be closer, Chad. Two on two for all the marbles. A push goes short for Boomich. And it's simple. Appropriately met by Zaiwu to deny. Let's go. A full 30. Okay. Wow. The back and forth nature Jesus that went Christ, right there. Dude. Oh, the mind games that, and Zywu still has a bloody smile on his face. Of course he does. Look of at this. Of course he does. Like that spray, he was millimeters away from Shoxy on connector. Oh, uh, yeah, the time at this moment as well here. Like this is just getting so, so close. The buy is back out. Navi without the AWP here in play. Permich out mid. Control taken. This time, no bit through the underpass. A different looking round. Simple top mid setting him up. Flash. And he's in. Oh my god, he's going fast. He's in. It should be his. Zywu collects. 
Still one in the feed. Bip keeps it competitive. Overtime looms a man advantage. Vitality, though, are they accounting for simple? He struck on the rotate. Shots will not have any more impact, and Apex has made a meal of it. Suddenly, Zaiwu and Masuta with it all to do. An A finish. Masuta still miles away over on the B site. Na'Vi have so much time to play with, though, and they are not going to let this one slip. Comms at an all-time high. Bomb going down as I finish this sentence. And the smokes are still up. Looking to plant as safe from short as he possibly can. Bomb has been planted. Orp on CT. Zaiwu trying to pull us into overtime. Na'Vi two flicks of the mouse away, but Zaiwu still denies Perfecto's chance. Dink down. 4 HP, wants to check CT, Simple's not going for it, but Masuta versus Simple, and it's good for the Na'Vi boys. Only Zaiwu can possibly save them. Only Zaiwu can deny the Intel Grand Slam. Na'Vi, a couple of bullets.